morning students today we are going to start with the next chapter in our book the literature book the beauty of difference we have already discussed the chapter in our zoom class there is a short summary of the whole chapter which we are trying to explain you in the very short way so let's study about this chapter what is there in it now the theme of the story what is the theme of the story here the theme of the story is the cultural differences and the discrimination that exist in society and how if we really want to we can make them unimportant as was proved by stephen now stephen here is a boy about whom we have discussed in the story who made the girl shireen be much better in a country which was not of her own yes and she had come to study there to uh, to fulfill the dreams of her parents but the other students of that place that is the london made her feel uncomfortable but one boy was there the stephen who made clear that there is no discrimination on the basis of the cultures and the colors there so everyone is same now these are the characters of the story shiri is a girl about whom we will be talking in this chapter the whole the shiri's mother the shiri's father the aunt with whom the shiri went to the london to study further and the shiri's friend who made her feel comfortable at the time when she was feeling lonely in a strange country now the first part of the chapter the summary of the first part here she needs to decide to send her to the london to tehran to study and live with her cousins there the young girl wants to stay home because she love her parents very much and she does not want to go from tehran now she did not know her cousins at all because she has met the cousins once only in the life and at that time also she was not able to understand what they were speaking because of the language differences there but her parents insist her to leave for the london so that she is moved from the tehran where the bombings the bombs were being thrown on the countries and the life of the peoples were in danger so the parents want that this girl small little girl should move away from the tehra now the next comprehension summary there in the next comprehension we have studied that shirin had a different vision of the london means he had dreamt something else how the london would look like how would london look like tall clock towers wide rivers baller heads on the people's head head red bushes and all however when she arrives there she finds it very different when she was at the airport with her aunt she found the london very different from her own imagination it was gloomy rainy and clouds were there moreover everyone stared at her because of her shadow here because the girl has a different wearing everyone was looking staring at her at the airport so the girl felt uncomfortable there but she felt proud of her wearing because the mother told we should wherever we should go we should not leave our culture and our things the manners we should carry all those things with us whether the people think good of her, us or bad of us now she had trouble in understanding what people say even though she knew english much better but still she was facing trouble in understanding what the people used to speak to them now the third and the last comprehension she was very nervous to go to school because shireen has been sent to the london to take the admission in the new school to learn further to move further in the life so that the parents can give the better life to the shirin but shirin because from the airport was feeling uncomfortable there the people were not accepting her as what she 
she was she felt not to go to school but still her aunt convinced her to go to school to make new friends there and as in when she reached the school the other students in the class did not want to be the friend of her because of her different looks different styles the different color during the lunch break when she was sitting alone a boy named stephen came towards her he offered a milk shake to the shireen to share it with him and slowly and slowly gradually when they were talking with each other when stephen told that he has these students of the class have behaved in the same way with him also then the shireen and stephen became friendly they had a very nice talk with each other and to make shireen comfortable the stephen also put his blazer on his head as a chart over there and they shared their food they drink with each other and she felt much better with the company of the stephen and she thought that the parents of her would also like stephen very much so this is our chapter which we have already studied i hope you must have understood the story we will be sending you the word meanings and the question answers with this so you have to copy it in your notebook okay thank you and have a nice